Right, Lady Digital M Make Next TV, and I'm here with Dermot, successful winner. Yeah, Ciao, for you. you. Didn't hit me second name there, anyway. Sorry. Do I have two seconds, Reds are, I've told Reds we're doing an interview with him, but uh, but uh, yeah. So obviously, if anyone who doesn't know, Dermot was meant to fight his uh, debut MMA yeah, fight tonight, but um, we, the, his opponent pulled out or yeah. was injured or whatever happened, and he ends up doing a K1 fight. So, so K was your br- yeah, it's my bread and butter. It's my bread and butter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's seven and three now. So it's all good. It was all good, me. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, fucking cardio was shit. Yeah. My lungs were terrible. Like, I got the news on Monday morning that my uh, fight was off. Scoffed about six or seven Easter eggs. Yeah, did did nothing. And then Monday night, half 11 Monday night, Andy texts me. Yeah. Say, you're going to be a K1 fight. So, go back on. I'm kind of. Poland took the fight last minute, fair play to him, and uh, I'm going to go buy him a pint now. For doing that, so. Well, that's very chivalrous. Is that what you say in a, in a situation like this? But, uh, <laughs> Sh- <laughs> chivalrous. You study so in the dictionary again, eh? You learn big words before you do an interview. Dear gives me an awful hard time. You deserve it. He gives me an awful hard time. So yeah, I'm but surely, you, you think you're Andrew McGahan, you'll never be Andrew McGahan. I'm just saying. Want, I'm so much prettier than Andrew McGahan. You're not as good as him as Jits. He's yeah. better than me at yes. jiu-jitsu, but simply, simply, okay, right. simply because he's been doing jiu-jitsu longer than I have, yeah, but yeah, it, no, yeah. he, he does have very sick jiu-jitsu. Um, but, so, obviously we had the K-Wom tonight, anyone who knows you will know that that's your history, yeah. that's where you come from. Uh, why the transition for MMA? Oh, well, I've, I started training with, um, with Andy, like I have uh, jumped from club to club for a while. Yeah, and a couple Team of Rhino as well. Uh, yeah. I, like, I was in a couple of different clubs, I was in one club in particular, I won't name it, another famous club. And the coach, under legal reasons, had to flee. But um, I started training in different clubs around. I did a bit of training down in Evolution with Kieran Davern and, yeah. and uh, a couple of other places. But then I settled with Andy in, t- in Team Rhino and it's yeah. like a second home to me. Yeah, you're still there. How long are you training at Team Rhino now? I'm there on and off for the last year and a half, but yeah. full time since end of September, start of October. And all the boys are like brothers to me. Yeah, yeah. And Andy's like a dad. And you know what I mean? No, 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 no. No, no, I only started doing jits about when I started there, really. I used to go up and do the open mat on a Friday night and do a bit on do John Donnelly's uh, Thai boxing class on a Monday. Yeah. And uh, just sort of after that, I kind of got the, feel, got the bug for jits, kind of. How long was it that you were trained that you were like, do you know what? I'm going to train full time. John Redman in my ear, but Reds are, I'd fuck it, I'd paddle all in my ear just to come start doing a bit of uh, jits with them. Yeah. So I did. And uh, I just started the rest of this really. So, is there another MMA fight in the, in the works? Oh, jeez, as soon as possible. As soon as Andy can get me one, I'll take it. Yeah. So, there's a little, little blip in that plan because we are going on oh, holidays. Yeah. And Unfortunately, I'm still contemplating pulling out. <laughs> I've been on second thoughts since I heard you were coming. Lies, but yeah, no, I'll go to Portugal for the going to Colin Bourne's gym in Portugal and yeah, yeah. have a nice, nice hot training holiday, as they say. And so, like, with a lot of the guys that are quite an amateur, you know, some of them are like, I want to go pro or UFC, that's a dream. Some yeah. of them are like, eh, this is for fun. I'm just kind of yeah. like train hard and I like, fight hard. Yeah. So, what's Me, your plan? I just love the fight. Yeah. I love it. I just love what it. What is it? What is it? I'm it's trying just to tap into this. I've like, never been good at football. Soccer or Gaelic, two left feet. Hurling, I love hurling. Play, I was good at hurling. Yeah. And I just stopped playing at a certain age. And I started, like, I was boxing when I was about 15 and light contact, semi contact, kickboxing then, and I moved on to Thai boxing. And then I went, I was in England for six years and I trained on the Master Skin. In, in England, Thai boxing. And then I came home there last June and I've been training with Andy then since September. So. It's just naturally. I just, I, just, I just love I just love it. I love the buzz of going in and getting the face punched off me. And yeah. When the fitness is a bit better, it's good. I've got a face punch in there tonight though. And I received a bit as well. Like. Oh, I wanted to. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I wanted to on the Snapchat. You can check them yeah. later. But, um, well, it's good to see you and well done on the win. Cheers, Ed. Ah, yeah, well, soon, as soon as possible. Soon as possible. Good stuff. See you on our holidays. I would hug you, but you're sweaty. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers.